and welcome to another video. This one's just a really short uh, video on how to correct issues in with VIAs in your MCDU. Um, we had a comment on one of our um, other videos from Angus McTavish asking about uh, some issues with VIAs and how, how to correct them. So I thought we'd do a very quick video on how you can uh, address this in, in the uh, in the actual A320. So we're using the, A, the Phoenix A320. Um, we're on the ground here in Gatwick. Uh, it's very quiet. We've gone to a very quiet corner. We're not actually going to do the flying, but we're just going to show you how to address the issues. So let's go into the aircraft. It is, um, electronics are already on, as you can see. And I'm just going to go into our MCDU. So we go in as normal. And I am just going to bring the flight in it information through. So I have set up a flight from Gatwick to Edinburgh on the Impip One Echo arrival. So let's just pull that data in from Simbrief. There we go. And I'll go into our init page and I'm just going to just init request that information as well it should bring most of it through there we go so flight number I'm just going to fill this in speedbird 74 whoops 74 7 doesn't like it 74 Bravo wrong try again dear me speedbird 74 74 Bravo it's the flight number cost index today is 12 cruising at flight level T20. There we go. Now it's brought our flight plan in, which you'll see here. Now we have to do, we've got flight discontinuities because obviously we have not put in our uh, standard instrument departure, which today is on the Lambourne 1 Zulu SID. So let's just get to fill that in very quickly. We're on runway. That's an excellent question. What runway are we on today? Bear with eight right, so eight right. Oops, Lambourne one Zulu, and then let's just insert that. So that's just going to sort our de our departure. It's not the departure we're interested in. So what we're going to do, just going to come down. Whoops, just check where we got to, and then there in pip, and then we got our flight plan discontinuity. Now. Edinburgh two two runways flight uh, runway 24 runway 06 now if you're coming in on 24 it doesn't tend to be a problem with a via because you come in via tartan uh, over the Firth of Forth you make your left bank uh, straight into the airport on runway 24 however there are issues when it comes to runway 06 I'm just going to show you those quickly so click Edinburgh click arrival ILS 06 we're coming in on the Impip One Echo arrival. Now, at the minute, we've got uh, no vias. So, what I'm going to do, just click via here, look, and then TLA, which is TALA. I'm just going to click that, and then we're going to insert. And that's just going to put in all of our waypoints. Now, you're not going to see too much. However, what you must always do, once you've completed your flight planning, in the MCDU, it is really important that you then go and check it is making sense. Just go through this and get back to. Let's go back to the top. And our departure. Ooh, do, 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 do. Excuse me, bear with. There we go. Tartan. Da, da, da. Right. While we're doing that, so what I'm going to do is go to the EFIS, which is here, and this knob that you see, it's to arc. That's what you would normally have it on, and it has your plan. And as you fly along the the green line, it will clearly show you where you're heading and the the next waypoint. However, if you go to plan, what that does is it allows you to see. plan that you will take so if you look at our arrival now on the navigation display as we scroll through so by just going the up and down arrows 
we'll get closer to Edinburgh and then it's gone wrong because if you look it goes to Tata hangs a strong left before coming in on the Tala arrival doesn't seem very efficient if I scroll out in terms of miles you're going to see it a little bit better there we go it's not very efficient because you would think from Eskdo direct to TLA would be the easiest route this might be better explained if we look at some of the charts so what I'm going to do I'm just going to take you to the chart page here we have our route now if we have a look at the MPIP one echo arrival matches exactly as we've got in our flight plan we go to Tata but the problem is we then double back on ourselves to TLA Tala before coming back round not very efficient and I can show you by looking at the Gerva star there's Tala and there's Tata Tala is over this high mass just to the southwest of Tata. So if we go back to our input one echo chart, Tala is here. So it would make more sense to go Eskdo, Tala, then, as we see on this chart, from Tala straight down the Tala via before banking right straight into runway 06. So how do we correct that? Time to go back into the MCDU. Okay. Now we know from the chart that ESCDO, have a look at the chart again, ESCDO to Tartan is a direct, but we need to be at Tala here. So it's Tata back down and up no sense so what we're going to do we're actually going to take out the tartan waypoint and we do that whoops it's clear tartan inserts and then we're going to clear off the flight plan discontinuity there we go now if we come back up here and then look at our navigation display now it makes far more sense because we're going Eskdo direct to our via at Tala before then making our right turn into Edinburgh Airport and if I just scroll to the next page you'll see there we go straight onto the runway so I'm just going to scroll back in fact what I'll do is let's just take this back to 20 10 miles 10 miles that's it you just get a better view so let's go in pip in rev Eskdo now remember we've taken off Tartan now so we're going straight via Tala there's Tala and the flight now makes far more sense because we're going direct before we to bank right to capture the ILS on our final approach and that's it it's as simple as that so using the Navigraph charts and the ND with the MCDU plan page so you can actually see whether or not your flight plan makes sense you are able to sort out those vias that are maybe getting in the way or are just inefficient and making you go around in a big loop this is just one example doesn't matter you can manage them in exactly the same way in the MCDU this might not be the way they do it in real life it's the way I do it just to make the simulator bit more fun and more straightforward hope that was useful and if it is don't forget just give us a quick like and subscribe and we'll see you next time thanks very much bye bye